Did you know that many of the world's most exotic animals are on the brink of extinction? This is because many of these animals are trafficked from one country to another, with many dying in transit. So is trafficking endangered animals across borders a just act? This is just one of many issues debated by middle and high school students at the Los Angeles Model United Nations Conference, a meeting where around 450 LAUSD students stepped into the shoes of UN ambassadors from different countries to debate issues like animal trafficking, nuclear weapons, and security issues. As a social studies teacher um, who I constantly bring up current events and want the students to stay connected not only with the history that they learn in 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, but how it applies to today's world. And so um, this is a perfect example of, you know, connecting things about geography and, and the real world um, to their daily lives. Trafficking wild animals provides a source of revenue. Tyrone John served as the UN ambassador for Italy during the conference, a country opposed to animal trafficking. The junior debated her country's case and offered resolutions and solutions to the growing problem to an audience of ambassadors from countries including Japan, India, and Thailand. I'm representing Italy and our stance on the problem is that we should close all legal loopholes, we should enhance enforcement, border patrol, and we should completely stop animal trafficking because it ruins the lives of many species worldwide. But it wasn't just learning about other countries and their positions on world events that attracted Sal Argueta into taking part in the conference. It was more about the personal growth he gained while taking part. I've learned some good public speaking skills of going up and speaking about my country and its stand, and as writing skills and how to persuade people into um, creating a resolution. With nearly half of the world's population under the age of 25 years old, organizers of the Model UN event hope this experience will help today's youth develop into active global citizens. John says that after taking part in the UN meeting, she now feels more informed on international issues. We've been talking to many people about their personal opinions. We've been getting many different views. And I think it really helps us to understand everyone's policies. And it help, it's, a, it's been a really great experience coming here. If you would like to learn more about the Model UN Conference and how you can get involved in next year's event, visit globalclassrooms.org. You can also talk to your history or social studies teacher about how you can take part. Reporting for KLCS News, I'm Richa Mitchell.